is James Pringle. I am the engineering team lead at PMA, and today I'm going to show you how to install servers for PMA data collection. Specifically, we will install ODK Aggregate on the platform DigitalOcean. Before we begin, we need to figure out what our country code is. In this example, today I will use Ivory Coast, which has a country code of CI. So the email I will be using is datamanager.ci at pma2020.org. The DigitalOcean team name that I will use is PMA underscore CI. For your country, please replace CC with your country code. So to begin, I'm going to open up my email, go to gmail.com, and type in my email address. The PMA2020.org email addresses are Google accounts, and we're going to take advantage of that. Now that I'm logged in, I'm going to pull up the installation instructions uh, from the community. So I will search Open Data Kit Digital Ocean Install. And this is a link from the Open Data Kit documentation. This is the recommended way to install ODK Aggregate after they moved away from Google App Engine. So now that I have the instructions pulled up, I'm going to log into DigitalOcean. We'll do that by going to digitalocean.com. We've already created uh, accounts for the datamanager.cc email accounts. And so all we have to do is sign in using the Google button. And since I've already logged in to my Google account, it automatically knew to use datamanager.ci. So with your, when you log in, you should have a personal area, datamanager.ci here, and a team, PMA underscore CI. By using the team, we have access to billing, which is already put in place. Uh, in the DigitalOcean team are two members. That's your data manager email account and the MGMT at PMA2020.org email account management. Management is the one that has put in place the billing. So when you are doing this, you do not need to worry about setting up billing. So now that I'm in this area from the PMA underscore CI team, I need to create a new project. Click new project. And for the project name, I will type ODK aggregate. Need to add a description. ODK aggregate for PMA for action. And this is a web application create project. We don't have any resources, so I'll skip this. Now that the project is created, I'm going to get started by creating a droplet. And at this point, we can follow the Open Data Kit installation instructions on their official documentation web page. To create a droplet, if there are no droplets, we can say get started with a droplet, or the top right, we can say create droplet. Following these instructions, we know that we need to make an Ubuntu instance. That's the operating system we need. We're going to use a $5 standard droplet. We're going to enable backups. We do not need block storage. And we need to select the user data checkbox. So Ubuntu 
standard scroll to the left for a five dollar per month plan no block storage choose a data set in a region let's choose the closest one to Africa or to your country uh, in this case for Ivory Coast I believe it will be Frankfurt and user data another thing that we need to check is monitoring this is how we can set up alerts based on the usage of the droplet or the server that we are provisioning so back to these instructions copy and paste the contents of this cloud config script so I'm going to open this link and this is a cloud config script that tells the server what packages to install and what commands to run down here and these are the commands that are going to set up the server and uh, the reverse prog proxy the server is ODK aggregate uh, the reverse proxy is nginx and there are also some commands for the database so once I've copied this I go back to DigitalOcean and paste in that whole script for authentication the one-time password is fine it's going to send an email with the password one droplet choose a host name Initially, we are going to create two servers, a test and a production server. In Ivory Coast's case, we're going to start with a test server. And the host name is supposed to be the domain name that will be uh, linked or attached with this server. So I'm going to type in citest.pmadata.org. So in the future, we'll be able to go to the URL citest.pmadata.org and it'll open the ODK aggregate server. Select the project. We want to make sure this is in the ODK aggregate project and we're going to enable backups. Now I'm going to create the droplet. This is creating the server. It's running. It's using the cloud init script that we copied in to install packages and to run commands. Creating the server is pretty quick. And now we see we have the name of our droplet and an IP address right here. So at this point, um, we are going to create alerts for our CPU and storage for this droplet. And you only need to do this once for the project. And all droplets will follow these rules, uh, monitoring rules that we're looking at. So if they aren't created yet, we're going to go to Create and scroll down to Alert Policies. Uh, another way to get to it is manage and then monitoring. So I'll click monitoring here and I want to create an alert policy. I want to create a policy for CPU and for disk utilization. And the default here is fine. So CPU is above 70% for five minutes tag name I need to make sure I type all droplets so that all droplets in this project will be monitored by this alert and we're going to email to mgmt at pma2020.org that's fine I want to make another alert policy this time disk utilization is above 70 percent for more than five minutes all droplets create alert policy all right with those alerts in place uh, we will have monitoring and we'll be able to uh, change the droplet size uh, if the CPU is running too high or if the disk utilization is too high 
And that's the purpose of these alerts. So back to the droplets. The next thing I need to do is notify about the IP address. So this IP address, I can open up a browser, enter in the address, and if I come back eventually, I can use this IP address to connect to ODK aggregate. What I want to do is to set up HTTPS to get a domain name to point to that IP address. And so that way I can type in on the address bar citest.pmadata.org uh, and go to this URL and then it'll come up with ODK aggregate. So the steps to do that, we need to notify jpringle at jhu.edu and odk at pma2020.org ci test IP address. I'll hit send to notify about the new IP address and then later on um, with our domain registrar we'll get a subdomain on pmadata.org. Once that subdomain is set up, it could take hours, it could take a few days. Uh, then we need to enable HTTPS. Once I have a subdomain on pmadata.org, once the domain registrar is updated, I, it is time to enable HTTPS. We need to be able to access the server with a URL and not just IP address. So to do that, the instructions are um, shown here on the DigitalOcean documentation. We need to go into DigitalOcean control panel, select the droplet, and then launch the console. So I'll go to DigitalOcean, click my droplet, and then click console. and now I need a username and password. The username and password is what was sent to us once we created the server. Username is root and the password is a long string of numbers and letters. So root is my login, password is that long string. I'm going to paste them in and per Unix tradition, no characters show up, but I can still hit enter. I'm required to change the password, so I'll paste the password again for the current password. And now I'm going to make a new password. Please uh, be sure to note down what the password is. We need to remember that. But if you don't, there's a password recovery mechanism on DigitalOcean. So now that I'm here, the Open Data Kit documentation says we need to run this command with some details uh, changed. CertBot is the program that will uh, create an SSL certificate for our server. So that command is here. I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to set your email to datamanager.ci at pma2020.org and redirect to the name of the server that I'm provisioning, which is citest.pmadata.org in this example. Copy that command. and paste it into the terminal. And I'll hit enter. So now HTTPS should be set up. I should be able to go to citest.pmadata.org and find ODK aggregate running. 
In this case, I haven't yet done that. So I'm just going to show you that I can get to it from an IP address. So here in the DigitalOcean console, I'm copying the IP address of my droplet. I'm going to paste in that IP address, and we see ODK aggregate is running. At this point, we can set up the passwords for the administrator. Um, on the installation instructions, um, we see what the default username and password is. It's administrator and aggregate. So if I click log in, I should be able to say administrator aggregate. And then under site admin, add my users, all the people and roles that we are familiar with. So that's going to wrap up this tutorial. Uh, we have gone over how to use our Google account with pma2020.org uh, to log into DigitalOcean, create a droplet, set up ODK aggregate, and see it running. We need to do this for a test server and a production server, and we've done it for the test server here. So I'd follow these steps again to create another droplet for a production server. Thank you for following along, and if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email or a message. I'll be happy to help, and in, as well as anyone else on the PMA engineering team. Thanks, and good luck.